Have you ever wondered how Python is used in the real world? If you have, you're not alone. Python, a high-level programming language known for its simplicity and readability, has become a staple in industries far and wide. Let's start with the tech giants. Google, for instance, uses Python for various applications including data analysis and web development. It even played a key role in the creation of Google's first web crawler, a fundamental component of their search engine. And then there's Facebook, which employs Python for managing a large portion of its infrastructure, including the handling of images and text processing. But the influence of Python extends beyond the tech industry. In the world of finance, investment banks and hedge funds like JP Morgan and Citadel use Python for quantitative and financial analysis. Python's data analysis libraries like Pandas and NumPy provide powerful tools for modeling complex financial systems and making informed decisions. In the realm of science, Python is a go-to language as well. NASA uses Python for scientific programming tasks, while CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, uses Python to decipher data from the Large Hadron Collider, the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator. Even in the entertainment industry, Python has made its mark. Industrial Light & Magic, the visual effects company behind Star Wars, uses Python for scripting complex visual effects. The versatility of Python is impressive, isn't it? From managing financial portfolios to deciphering scientific data, from creating web applications to scripting visual effects, Python has proven its ability to handle a wide array of tasks. It's this versatility, coupled with its readability and simplicity, that has made Python one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Now that you have an idea of how widespread Python's use is, let's delve into what Python actually is. So what exactly is Python? Well, Python is a high-level interpreted programming language. This means it's designed to be easier to read and write than many other programming languages, and it doesn't need to be compiled before it can be executed. Python's design philosophy is all about simplicity and readability. It's built on the idea that code should be as clear and straightforward as possible. This makes it a great choice for beginners who are just starting out in programming but it's also powerful enough for big projects and advanced programmers. One of the things that makes Python stand out is its syntax. It allows programmers to express complex concepts using fewer lines of code than would be required in other languages. This not only makes the code easier to understand, but it also makes it quicker to write. Python certainly has a unique approach, doesn't it? But how do you start coding with it? Starting with Python is as easy as pie. So let's get the ball rolling and dive into the installation process. It all begins with a simple trip to the Python official website. Here you'll find all the resources you need to get started. But for now, our focus is on the download section. Once you're in the download section you'll notice different versions of Python available. It's important to note that Python comes in two flavors, Python 2 and Python 3. We'll be using Python 3 for our journey, as it's the most up-to-date and supported version. So, look for the latest Python 3 release and simply click the download button. Now you might be wondering which version to download, 32-bit or 64-bit. Well, it all depends on the type of operating system you're using. If you're unsure, a quick search about your operating system will give you the answer. Once you've figured that out, go ahead and download the version that matches your system. With the download complete, it's time to install Python. The installation process is pretty straightforward. Double-click the installer file you just downloaded and follow the on-screen instructions. Make sure to check the box that says, Add Python to Path during the installation. This will make your life a lot easier when running Python scripts in the future. Once the installation is complete, let's quickly verify it. Open up your command prompt or terminal, type Python version, and hit enter. If the installation was successful, you should see the Python version you installed displayed on your screen. And there you have it. You've successfully installed Python on your computer. But remember, this is just the beginning. With Python installed, you're ready to take your first step into the world of programming. Your first Python program is just a few keystrokes away. Now let's dive right into creating our first Python program. The tradition in programming is to start with a simple Hello World program. It's a straightforward script that displays the message Hello World on your screen. It's the perfect way to prove that your Python environment is set up correctly and ready to go. So, how do we write this program? Well, Python makes it incredibly simple. We just need one line of code. Open up your text editor and type in print hello world. That's it. The word print is a function in Python that outputs the text inside the parentheses to the screen. 
Now let's save this program so we can run it. In your text editor, go to File, then Save As. Give your file a name, but make sure it ends with EPY, which is the extension for Python scripts. For instance, you might name your file Hello World.py. Once you've saved your file, it's time to run your program. This part can vary slightly depending on your setup, but generally you'll need to open your terminal or command line interface, navigate to the directory where you saved your hello world.py and then type python followed by the name of your file like this, python hello world.py, then hit enter. If everything has been set up correctly, you should see the phrase hello world displayed in your terminal. If you don't, don't worry. Programming is all about troubleshooting and persistence. Check your code, ensure you saved your file with the IPY extension, and make sure you're in the right directory in your terminal. And there you have it. You've written, saved, and run your first Python program. And while Hello World might seem simple, it's the first step on your journey to becoming a Python programmer. Congratulations on writing your first Python program, but what if you want to do more complex tasks? Python has a variety of data types to handle different kinds of information. At the heart of it, we have simple data types. Integers are your whole numbers like 1, 2, or 3. Floats on the other hand include decimal points such as 2.5 or 3.14. Strings are sequences of characters enclosed in either single or double quotes, for example, hello world. Now, let's move on to complex data types which are collections of simple data types. Lists are ordered collections that can store a mix of data types changeable and enclosed in square brackets. Tuples, similar to lists, are immutable, meaning their elements can't be changed. They're enclosed in parentheses. Finally, we have dictionaries, which are unordered collections of key value pairs enclosed in curly braces. With Python's data types, you can handle almost any data you'll encounter. A versatile language indeed. Python is a vast language with a lot to offer. We've just skimmed the surface of its capabilities. Today we've seen how Python is used in the real world, from web development to data analysis, AI, and more. We've discovered what makes Python a fan favorite among programmers, its readability, simplicity, and versatility. We walked through the process of installing and setting up Python on your system, and we wrote our first Python program together. Remember the excitement you felt when your code ran successfully? That's the thrill of programming. We also dived into Python's data types, both simple and complex. We learned about integers, floats, strings, lists, dictionaries, and tuples. Each of these data types has its place in Python programming, and understanding them is key to mastering the language. But don't stop here. There's a wealth of resources out there to help you delve deeper into Python. Websites like Code Academy, Coursera, and EDX offer beginner-friendly courses. Books such as Learn Python the Hard Way and Python Crash Course are excellent guides for beginners. And don't forget about Python's official documentation. It's a comprehensive resource that you'll find yourself returning to time and again. And remember, practice is key. Try to code every day even if it's just for a few minutes. Work on small projects and gradually take on more complex ones. Join online communities of Python learners. Share your work and get feedback. And most importantly, don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're a part of the learning process. When you encounter a bug, take it as a challenge. Debugging is an essential skill in programming and each bug you squash makes you a better programmer. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your Python journey has just begun, and the possibilities are endless. Happy coding!